If you are looking for something new and different for the upcoming Compliance Week celebration in November, check out The Compliance Kids. It's my three-book children's series on compliance and compliance professionals for children. But they make great gifts and great training tools for your employees. You can check it out on Amazon.com. We've linked to it in the show notes. The Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. If you're a compliance officer, middle managers are crucial in getting your programs from you to your frontline employees. But how do we activate those managers and get them on our side? Ethico's new Middle Manager Toolkit equips you with the skills needed to empower your managers, to promote a culture where ethical behavior thrives and employees feel empowered to speak up. Learn how to turn frontline managers into ethical leaders with our new white paper, Empowering Middle Managers as Ethics Champions. And did I mention you can get the whole toolkit for free? Head to ethico.com to download the full toolkit today. Today, we continue our exploration of how a CEO can help set the tone at the top of an organization by looking at why this tone is so essential. Obviously, in-house compliance professionals are well aware that an effective compliance program requires more than policies procedures and controls that need commitment from every level of the organization. And that commitment starts with the top. Senior executives, especially the CEO, set the tone that trickles down throughout the ranks, influencing how employees perceive the importance of compliance. Why is this tone at the top so essential? Well, let me give you four uh, reasons. Number one, leadership drives culture. Employees take their cues from the behavior of senior leaders. If executives demonstrate a strong commitment to ethical practices and compliance, employees are more likely to follow suit. Conversely, if leaders appear indifferent to compliance or to allow cutting corners, the mindset will permeate the organization. Two, trust and transparency. When senior executives consistently emphasize ethical behavior, transparency, and accountability, they build trust with stakeholders within the organization and without. The organization. This trust is crucial in creating an environment where employees feel empowered to speak up about potential compliance concerns. Three, mitigating risk. A strong tone at the top can help an organization avoid costly regulatory fines, reputational damage, and legal penalties. It also creates an environment where potential issues are identified early and addressed promptly. Four, sustainability of your compliance program. A compliance program can only thrive if it's integrated into a company's everyday operations or, in other words, operationalized. The CEO and senior executives play a key key role in embedding compliance into the fabric of your organization, and this ensures its long-term impact, effect, and sustainability within your organization. So if you're ever asked why a CEO needs to set the tone at the top, You can give these reasons and your own going forward. As I said in the opening of this podcast, this month's sponsor of the entire Compliance Podcast Network is Ethico, and they've developed a toolkit for middle managers that will help middle managers in in taking information from employees and equally importantly, understanding how to respond and how to get the information up to compliance for the decision makers. We've linked to this toolkit in our show notes, so check it out at ethico.com. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested topics for a podcast 
that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network.